stick to the facts, this sort of fact-checking data journalism kind of mythology, which is really just um, political ideology masquerading as, as data-driven uh, uh, data reporting. Now hold on. You ain't the first son of a bitch to wake up out of their dream. Um, there's this sort of idea that there's this sort of holy grail of impartial reporting. Well, my view on this stuff is that you should be open and transparent about your political objectives in a way that the right is and the left is not. Um, open and transparent about your political objectives and let readers make up their own minds. I've never claimed to be impartial. I think it's fairly obvious I have opinions. Um, to me, and you should also go and listen to feminists and you should go and listen to Black Lives Matter activists and you should work out who you like the best at the end of it. Now, the problem is... Um, you're listening to bad sources. Not as loudly as you said anything else, but under your breath you sort of said, oh, white supremacist, blah, blah, blah. You kind of wanted to get it under the radar, you wanted to dispute it. Fuck you! How fucking dare you call me a white supremacist! So... Once... Oh, you're not leaving as well, are you? You're not... Oh, come on! Delegation that I am a white supremacist. You call me a white supremacist. Defend it. Defending? Am I? See how, the amount of the amount of black dick that's been in my mouth. Racist in the world. I. Am I'm going to give you one more opportunity to defend your allegation that I'm a white supremacist. Just try. Try. Do it. Because what I've talked about this evening isn't race or skin colour. I've talked about values. And when the BBC did what you're attempting to do now, um, as 1.3 million people have seen on my YouTube channel, um, what, what, what they did was try to conflate an admiration for American values for the First and Second Amendment for um, freedom, democracy, property rights, capitalism. They tried to conflate that with race. They tried to say, if you're proud of your country or you admire the values of another country, that somehow makes you a racist. It doesn't. Um, so I ask you one final time. Please justify your allegation that I'm a white supremacist. I'm not answering the question. White supremacists hate me. The Daily Stormer is the epicenter of white supremacists. They think... a holy war on me. They said they would never read Breitbart again until Breitbart fired me. They said I was the... I, they and I was the... I was their number one enemy. White supremacists and anti-Semites hate me. I 
prefer the express. mixing kike faggot but whatever um, <laughs> hate me they hate me of course they do so racists hate me but I'm a white supremacist you're just confusing me you're confusing me and I'm very easily confused because I'm a homosexual but Should we give him another chance? Give him one more chance. Okay. All right. Okay. How long have they been there? What are they? Where have they come from? Look, man, I don't need that kind of shit. What are we gonna do? We're gonna wait. Wait, wait for what? You know, that really answers my fucking question. Well, when you get some kind of master plan, you let me know, huh? One more, one more try. I believe in you. I believe in you. I know you can do it. One more try. Justify your allegation. I didn't ask you if I was enabling white supremacists, which is just an, an equally idiotic allegation, but it's not the one you made. I'm asking you to justify your allegation that I'm a white supremacist, please. We've had enough. We've had enough fun at the expense of the disabled. Um, <laughs> thank you very much. I, uh, I'm, I'm sorry you're so stupid. Um, thank you very much, everybody. It's been wonderful. Thank you. Thanks, Father. Life's a bitch.